Hello guys, welcome to Ramta Solutions. Welcome to another lesson on vertical projectile motion in one dimension. Um, looking at the graphs. Today we are looking at acceleration versus time. Okay, so with acceleration versus time, it's, this is going to be the shortest. Okay, this is going to be the shortest. So, I'm not going to waste my time. Remember, the acceleration that we use, sorry. Remember, our acceleration is a vector which is 9,8 meters per second squared. Sorry, per second squared. Per second squared downwards. Right? So, now, because these are vector quantities, um, and we're dealing with vector calculations. We always have to choose a direction to be positive and another direction to be negative. So I will start with upwards is positive. Then let me also look at downwards being positive. Okay. So, when, so when we choose upwards to be positive, acceleration will be negative 9,8. When we choose downwards to be positive, acceleration will be positive 9,8. Now, when we draw acceleration versus time, when we draw acceleration versus time, when we draw acceleration versus time, we will go to negative 9,8. Remember, this is a constant. Now, since it's a constant, let me just draw a line. Change the color. Okay, I'm going to change the color, change the width as well. So change the width as well. So this is negative 9.8. So, so we have, this is your graph. So wh whatever that you do, your acceleration will always be constant. Okay. In the same way here, it will be, it will always be constant. Okay. It will always be constant, which is, at 9.8 so sorry this is a axis okay, this is a axis mm, this is a axis in meters per second squared of course and this is obviously in second okay so your acceleration will always be your acceleration will always be constant so the area the area under area under acceleration versus time okay area under acceleration versus time okay area under acceleration versus time will give you the velocity okay hear me guys area under acceleration versus time will give you the velocity of the object okay so what is this area this area is a rectangle so you find the area of a rectangle this will give you the this will give you the velocity okay so let me do this again and say area area under acceleration versus time equals velocity okay area under velocity versus time equals velocity so your exam will ask you to find area um under i mean area or rather velocity of the object after whatever time you go to your graph you locate the time and then you find the area under that block remember where let's say t1 here you find the area under t1 here and that's your velocity okay and you will be sorted
okay guys so uh with that being said we are done this is how you draw velocity acceleration versus time okay <laughs> okay guys bye bye and stay tuned for the summary on the graphs